you'll take a precision straight edge. You do not want to drop these, otherwise you have to get it recut. It's got a plastic cover on the precision edge to protect it from nicks, scratches. You always want to keep this on when you're not using it. I do not recommend dropping one of these. You will take feeler gauges. You want to have 15 ten thousandths up to four to five thousandths of an inch out. What you do is make sure your gasket's totally off from the top, your head gasket, and there's no nothing left of it to get an accurate measurement. You take your sin straight edge. You'll measure across this way, diagonally each way. You'll measure here, here, and then between each cylinder bore. I'm going to start with three thousandths of an inch. You'll know how much it's off when the feeler gauge slides under your precision straight edge easily. So I don't have anything this direction, so what I'll do is I'll turn diagonally and I'll measure again. I have three thousandths on one end here, here, down I have 2,500, 25 thousandths of an inch, 25 ten thousandths, I'm sorry, which means this block is warped this way. I'll turn again, diagonally, three thousandths at the end. I have no. Let's see. I have nothing at the end. Measuring this next over contact point. I have four thousand warpage there. Measure the center. I have four thousandths in the center as you can see. I'll measure the end. I have four thousand. You'll know that is the correct measurement because you'll have slight drag on your feeler gauge. I have nothing on this end. I'll measure between the bores now. I have 25 ten thousandths here. You want to check across the full length of course. I'll move over I have three thousandths here, four thousandths, four thousandths is the limit there. Move over again, I have four thousandths again. So what's happening here is that I have a block and it's twisted this way, but it's also caving inwards. And then I'll measure this direction as well. I have three thousandths in the center. And that's how you measure deck flatness. You'll do the same thing with your cylinder head 
it's pretty much saying just flip the cylinder head over so the combustor chambers are exposed and you'll do the same measurements here, here, this way, this way, exactly what I just showed you. Now the spec for warpage, cylinder warpage and deck flatness is seven thousandths of an inch. So we are in spec, but I would still, for me personally, I would deck the block and the cylinder head to ensure good form and contact and, lot, and less chance of loss of cylinder compression. Now we're going to turn the block over and check our line bore for crankshaft main bearings. You'll take your straight edge again. What you do is you'll set your straight edge in the center. You'll take your feeler gauge again. I'm going to pull out the same feeler gauge as I had before. 15 ten thousandths to five thousandths of an inch. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to measure underneath the check. See, the line bore this way is caved, caved in or convex. I'm going to start with my bigger fuel gauge and work my way smaller. Once again, you'll know if you have clearance under there when the fuel gauge slides under. I have two thousandths of an inch in the center. I have 15 ten thousandths here. And two thousandths back here. So this block has moved inward starting here. Now you'll turn your straight edge so it's almost horizontal and you do the same measurements here again. This will tell you if the line board has shipped it this way or this way. Sometimes it's easier to have a friend help you with this portion. It gets difficult trying to hold straight edge while you're measuring.
I have 2,000 of each here, so this means the line board has shifted this way. And the spec says it shouldn't be more than 15 10,000, so this is going to have to get line board. With this particular engine, we have it's called the Cradle. A performance mod that was done to early muscle cars, particularly Ford. You'll do the same thing with this piece as just what I showed you. you measure it center and side and side. That will also tell you same you like saying which way the line board has shifted. Up, down, left, or right. When they line board this, they'll put the cradle on and they'll torque it down about half spec and they'll run the line board through. But first they'll cut, they'll grind this down about a thousand or two thousand inch and then they'll run their line board through. That's how you check your line board. You'll do the same thing with your camshaft line bores on a cylinder head. After you remove the camshafts and replace the cast back on torque from the half spec. And you can check your bores for your camshafts and your crankshafts the same way with the cylinder bore gauge as well as your connecting rods. You measure them this way and then this way tells you how to round. And that's pretty much it. That's the majority of the measurements for the block and the head. Hope to see you next time once it's halfway done after the machine shop.